Uh, last lecture, we were talking about image filtering and uh, we talked about how we can represent uh, uh, an image as a function. We talked about like uh, image digitization. And uh, so today, moving forward, we are going to talk about image noise. Now, before talking about image noise, let's try to uh, understand uh, what each of these pixel values mean. And we'll try to do like a very simple analysis of images, uh, the pixel values. This is called in intensity profiles. Uh, on the left here, uh, we can see uh, we have our grayscale image. And uh, we have drawn like two uh, yellow horizontal yellow lines. And on the right, you can see this is not this, this looks like a histogram, but it's not a histogram. This is an intensity profile of uh, this image. What it shows is as you move from left to right on, along like this yellow line, how the pixel intensity is changing. Since this is a grayscale image, each pixel value will have a value between 0 and 256 or 255, right? So you are starting from the left and you can see like uh, this was the pixel value. And you, as you move forward, you can see like it's dropping, increasing. So it's kind of fluctuating, right? And at this point, you can see like it's uh, dropping a lot. And then it stays uh, very low all the way up to the right. So if you look at the uh, actual image, you will see that uh, on the left, it's mostly clouds. So these are brighter pixels, right? And at this point, you can see like we, we don't have any clouds anymore. We don't have the clouds uh, from this point onwards. And uh, it's kind of sky and it, 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 it has to be blue if you look at RGB image, but it's in this case, it's kind of a darker pixel. And that's the reason like we are seeing this dip. Right? And you can see that it continues because we have sky like all over to the end. OK, so that's kind of intensity profile uh, to understand how the pixel values which will change if you have different uh, objects in, in, in your input image. Now, if you do like similar kind of uh, pixel analysis on the second yellow line on the bottom here, so you will see that uh, this curve was uh, very smooth, right? It was not fluctuating a lot. But if you look at this intensity profile, it's actually fluctuating a lot. Still, it has a pattern because most of these are like dark pixels. And you can see that uh, when we have this uh, tree trunk, it's actually darker. So it's, uh, it's a huge dip here. But overall, you will see like it's kind of fluctuating a lot. And this one is kind of smooth. Now, if you look at the original image on the left, you will see that uh, this object is kind of, uh, it has a very flat surface, right? The cloud. And in this case, it's ground. So it's, a, it's a grass, right? So you can see like the pixel value is changing a lot as you move across like neighboring pixels. Now, why this is important, you will later see that when you have noise present in your input image, it resembles more like this intensity profile, which is shown on the bottom here. So this is more related to uh, noise. And that's why I showed you this uh, simple example here. 